I have an evolve. And it's funny that the word evolve, that the company decided to name themselves evolve and they don't do what they claim that with the name that they, they they chose for their company they won't evolve you have all these companies that um came out after evolve they got new technologies for their boards they have um like the board that i have coming in in the next two weeks it's um, $1,000 less than Evolve. And it's like you could turn the board on from the remote. You don't have to bend down and hit a switch to turn the board on, which is beautiful. Again, new technology that they put on the board that's coming out. I don't know why. I have no idea why Evolve won't with their newer boards have that kind of technology where you could turn the board on using the remote but I don't know maybe they're a stubborn company they don't want to um, evolve so to speak pun intended they don't want to evolve it's like they keep putting out the same boards don't update any of the you know boys with newer technology that's out that a lot of these new companies come out um innovate for their boys and stuff like that evolve is just stuck in their ways i guess i don't know but i'm gonna tell you right now the board that i come in that i have coming in two weeks it's um a thousand dollars cheaper it is faster um and it comes with a, a set of, a second set of wheels where evolve it's like i had to pay nineteen hundred dollars for the at version and if i wanted the the second set of wheels like the street version i would have to pay like twenty two hundred dollars or whatever you see what i'm saying this board faster it comes with extra wheels belts cover um belt covers and I could turn the board on and off just using a remote and, have, and not having to bend down and it comes with cloud wheels the newest wheels that are out like the, the most comfortable wheels that they have coming out actually came with the wheels and that I think that the set of wheels the cloud wheels 120 millimeter cloud wheels are like 120 140 and they threw it in with the board. I mean, like, these companies are really catering to the customers where I feel Evolve, they're not catering to anybody but themselves. And you gotta pay a price for that. You really do. And again, I paid $1,900 for that board. And it was like, I was only getting like maybe 16 miles an hour with the AT wheels that came with it. I put the cloud wheels on it, I'm getting like 19, 20 miles an hour. Not a big difference, but it's faster. And I had to go in my pocket and put different wheels on a board that advertised 26 miles an hour. So I don't get that. I really don't get that, but my new board is coming and I'll be getting it in uh, approximately two and a half, two to two and a half weeks. And I'll give you my first impressions on the board. I will tell you, um, I've been, I've been, I guess you would say with these uh, electric skateboards, I started like two, three years ago. My first board was a while ago. And then I liked it so much, I bought two boards, you know, for my friends and everybody can hang out and all that. And then I realized that you know, as I started to get um, more experience with riding an electric skateboard, I realized that the tires make the difference, the wheels make the difference in, in ride comfort. So then that's when I sold the two boards and I got a Backfire. I got the Backfire GT. And with the wheels being more comfortable, it made it a better ride and everything else. So with that said, I said, you know, I got the Evolve, I have the Backfire, 
and when this uh, board company came out with a new um, board I like the specs I like the, the reviews that a couple of youtubers gave on it and I was like you know what I'm gonna invest so I've decided to um, put some money down and the board should be here and that board will definitely replace that board because that board is dangerous the the motors locking up on me and if I'm going at a, a high rate of speed it's not it's not it's not safe so I want to ride with some some feeling of you know safety and, and enjoy the ride without having to worry about the motors locking up on me but yeah I really do I like I like riding that board because of the cloud wheels. It makes it a better ride, but the, the thought of the motors locking up on me, it's not a good feeling. Really nice out here. I decided to come out here with the skateboard, but I think I'm gonna go home and get my bike. And then I got the scooter, but I'm still waiting for my helmet and I'm waiting for um, my protective gear to come in because this scooter is the scooter that I purchased this electric scooter from China I mean it is very 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 violently fast and <laughs> without protective gear instant death brain damage or something I'm not trying to um, wind up in the hospital but today is a beautiful day to get out and skateboard scooter bike whatever the park I'm in is called Shirley Chisholm Park, brand new park. A lot of uh, families come out here and um, they ride their bikes with their kids. They ride their bikes, they walk, they jog. Um, this table that I'm at now is um, a picnic style table. And there's a, along the routes, you'll see um, different uh, picnic tables. Some have umbrellas and stuff like that. This one doesn't have an umbrella, but you can see the little hole right here where um, an umbrella would go in there. You put the post in there and get some shade, but this table doesn't have that um, umbrella. There's a trail here that, it's like a dirt trail that goes, I don't know where it goes, but um, you can see people going up it, coming down it biking all type of things and then you have this trail here and I'm gonna head that way and go further out but as of right now I'm here with my laptop and I'm just watching a couple of videos and stuff like that I have this wireless mic I think I'm not using it correctly. It's called a Movo. I don't think I'm using it correctly. Because each time I tested it, I didn't hear any sound. I didn't hear any sound coming through it, coming through the video. So I don't know if I have the right connectors in where they need to be in order to get the sound coming through the video. But I'm, I'll figure that out later. But yeah, I got my little wireless mic because as I ride the skateboard, I'm sure there's a lot of wind noise coming through the video, which is annoying because I know it's annoying because when people that I watch on YouTube do it, it makes me mad. And I don't even want to watch their video. So I can imagine um, somebody watching my video and hearing all that wind noise and getting pissed off. So I, I definitely feel your pain. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to figure out how this uh, Movo wireless mic works, and then I'll work on it and try to improve the sound.
Don't be a crybaby. Come on, stop it. Do you have any? <laughs> you see, he's laughing at you because he knows he did that on purpose. I'm gonna leave you. And I bet you, you probably ride better than everybody in this park. <laughs> yeah. See, come on. We're just gonna go a little more and then we're gonna walk back to the park. So what I did was I did it to its maximum and the way the board works, the board is actually pretty good, especially with the cloud wheels on it. But the thing is, the motors locking up is not a good thing. It's not a good look. But for the most part, I really enjoy this board. But I just have to um I just have to ride it with 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 bated breath because at some point if the board if the board definitely locks up on me it's not it's not it's not going to be a good thing but i like the board so but my second board that's no actually my third board that's coming it's going to be really really hot This bending down, turning this board on, really do suck. When I get my when my second board, my new board coming, boy, I can't wait. That bending over shit is dead. Bending over to turn the board on. Come on, man. That shit is whack. Here's some more park benches, little picnic bench. up a little incline right now. this hill and I got it full throttle and we're at 16 miles an hour full throttle now I'm going down the hill right now I'm just coasting
the bugs are hitting my my shades. That's why it's important to wear eyewear when you're on these, like riding a bike or whatever. Because if a bug hits you in the eye, you'll be temporarily blinded and it can mess up your ride, so. I recommend wearing eyewear. That was fun. Ugh. <sighs> 